Okay, we are moving on and we'll be working on the legs, pelvis and belly areas next. Is the arm perfect? Uh, probably not, but in general it's not a good idea to spend too much time in just one area and ignore the other areas. This is true for both personal projects and professional ones. It is better for your motivation to see an overall progress in the whole character and also if you're working for a client you never want to be in a situation where, where you're nearing the deadline and the client asks you how is the character going and you say well the arm is perfect but everything else is crap. You can support CG Dive by purchasing this course or some of the exclusive courses on academy.cgdive.com subscription is also available so i'm going to go back to frame zero where my character is in in a neutral pose and i'm going to unlink this action by pressing the x button here because i have fake user enabled i won't lose this action and then i'm going to press new and name the new action over action legs Okay, and right away we're going to create a similar weird test animation for the legs. The range of motion of the legs is a little bit more limited, so there will be a little bit less things to test, but still we need to do it properly. I'm going to visualize the torso and then the IK and FK controls for the left leg. And I'll hide the deformation layers by shift clicking on this layer 29. In the case of the leg, I'm going to do part of the test animation in IK mode and another part in FK mode. So I'm going to select one leg widget and first I want my leg to be in IK, which is the default uh, behavior. So on frame 0 I'm going to hover over this um, IK FK slider and press I to create a keyframe. The first thing I'm going to test is moving the ogre's body down, which will bend the knees. So I'm going to, on frame 0, set a location and rotation keyframes. And then on frame 20, let's switch key to available. And I'm going to move this torso down. Then on frame 40, I want to try to make the ogre sit down, as if he's sitting down on the ground. So maybe on frame 30, I can set an additional keyframe to make this whole action a little bit more uh, natural. And then on frame 60, I'm going to press Alt-R and Alt-G to bring the torso in the default position. Okay, on frame 80, I want to try uh, to test the heel controls. So here on frame 60, I'm going to set a, a rotation keyframe. I cannot set the keyframe in, in the viewport uh, because of the key inset, but if I hover over the rotation transforms and press I, then I can set a keyframe. And then I'm going to move to frame 80 and inside view rotate this leg up. Then on frame 100 I'm going to bring it back to uh, default position by copying the original keyframe. And then on 120 I'm going to bring the heel up. Now I see that um, I have x-axis mirror activated, so I'm going to deactivate it, unhide these two, unhide the IK and FK controls for the right leg, select all widgets, go to frame 0, Alt R, Alt G, Alt S to clear everything, and then I'm going to delete all available keyframes. And that removed the action on the right leg. I don't need it for now. Okay, on frame 140, I'm going to again copy this default keyframe from frame uh, 100, and that will bring my foot again to the default position. If you're looking for Blender add ons, check out addons.cgdive.com. Now, frame 60, I want to, from the side view, kind of rotate this foot sideways. Then on 180, just press. Alt R to clear the rotation and on 200 I'm going to rotate it in the other direction and then 220 Alt R and clear the rotation. On frame 240 I want to test this uh, rotation of the foot. 
So on frame 220, I'm going to create a rotation keyframe by pressing I in this area for the foot IK control. And then on 240, rotate it this way on frame 260. Alt R to clear the rotation and 280, I'll rotate the, the foot up and then 300 and I'll press Alt R to clear the rotation. And from here onwards, I want to manipulate the leg in FK mode. So I'm going to press I over the IK FK slider now, then move one frame in time. So three, zero, one and slide the IK FK slider to one and press I. Okay, frame 320. I'm going to select the thigh widget, maybe hide the IK controls now. And I want to rotate it in the Y axis. Okay, and then on frame 300, I want to press Alt R. So, and that will create a frame in the default uh, state. Actually, I'm going to select each of these FK widgets and make sure I have a keyframe on frame 300. So just hover over the rotation uh, transform and press I. And then on 320, I did rotate the thigh sideways, which rotates the whole foot. By the way, for the leg, uh, rotating the thigh in the Y direction and rotating the shin in the Y direction does almost exactly the same thing. But generally, uh, I rotate the thigh. Okay, then 340, and I'm going to press Alt R to clear the rotation. Okay, 360. In side view, I'm going to rotate the leg backwards. On 380, I'm going to press Alt R to bring in the default position. Then 400, and again in side view, I'm going to rotate this leg up. And at the same time, I want to rotate this lower leg backwards to create a bend in the knee. I have a keyframe of the default position of the shin on frame 300, but I want to move it uh, all the way to 380. So I'm going to select it, press G, and then I can type 80 on, on the numpad and press enter. And that way, this shin will not rotate until this point, and then it will start rotating to create this pose. On 420, I want to again rotate the shin inwards, like that, to really create some extreme poses. Okay, then on 440, I want this leg to kind of rotate around 45 degrees relative to the body, something like that. Maybe, maybe raise the leg even a little bit more. And then on frame 460, again from the top view, I'm going to rotate this uh, thigh sideways. Just a little bit of correction from the side view, and that's it. So now we have our weird motion. Let's test it. So you can see that anything that has to do with bending the knees in this pelvis area is really, really bad. This stuff here, just really horrible. Here, here the belly is really badly deformed. This is just, I don't know what to say. Here as well, the buttocks are just completely gone. So let's follow the same workflow that we uh, established for the arm. So in the next section, we're going to fix as much as possible using weight painting. And the issues that are left afterwards, we are going to try to address using corrective bones. That's it for this chapter. Please like, subscribe, and check out our other projects, academy.cgdive.com and addons.cgdive.com.